Sunday morning, even though my dad was a heathen, our family didn't go to church. We had a television program on WALB Channel 10 called the Gospel Singing Jubilee. And every Sunday morning, even though my dad didn't live for God and our family didn't go to church, my daddy would have on the Jubilee program and I woke up eating my Cheerios and Flintstone cereal, watching Howard and Vestal Goodman and the Florida Boys, the Henson family, the Dixie Echoes, the Seago Brothers and Naomi, all of those wonderful groups. Later in life, as my dad began to get older and sick from emphysema from uh, smoking cigarettes his entire life, dad still refused to go to church. He never committed to serve the Lord. Six months before my father died, my father was in a hospital room in ICU. He nearly blew up the ICU unit with oxygen because he tried to smoke a cigarette in his room. And uh, my Aunt Henrietta begged her preacher from the Kinjifuni Baptist Church in Leesburg, Georgia. That just sounds redneck, doesn't it? She begged her preacher, would you go see my brother? He's dying of lung cancer, and he's not saved. When Brother Chuck walked in that hospital room, there was an instant kindredness between him and my dad because, you see, Brother Chuck was a veteran, and my daddy served in World War II. There's something about you veterans. There's a camaraderie and a fraternity that the rest of us don't quite understand. Brother Chuck had my daddy's attention, and 30 minutes later when he walked out of the room, my daddy had prayed that prayer and had made Jesus the Lord of his life. It wasn't but just a few weeks later that my dad would leave this earth for eternity with God. But when he died, there at the little hospital bed in his bedroom, my mom and dad's duplex that they owned. There was a picture of Sherry Easter on the wall next to him. His favorite song was Roses Will Bloom Again. He loved Naomi Sego. For some reason, he loved that song. To me, it was always depressing, but daddy loved that song, Sorry I Never Knew You. He had a picture of sister Naomi there next to Sherry. You see, gospel music didn't save my daddy. The gospel music kept my daddy's heart tender towards the things of God so that when the preacher came to the hospital room, daddy's heart was ready to receive that message. And tonight when we give in this offering, it's not just to make sure Dwayne and Mickey's bills are paid and the singing's taken care of, but tonight when we give, we're giving so these songs will be able to continue to be sung in the midst of a pandemic to people just like my daddy who need to hear that message and may not go to church on Sunday, but when they hear these songs, the power of the gospel will still resonate in their hearts and in their lives. So I want to thank you tonight for your gift. Let me give you some instruction and we'll pray. If you're writing a check.